So what's up guys, this is Faster Than Yours, starting a new series, Rome Total War. Um, as I understand it, this game is pretty old. I never played it when it was originally out, but uh, I've been watching someone play it online now um, for about a month, and I'm really into it, so... I figured I'd give it a shot too, and uh, I'm actually really eager to see the newer version, which I don't think is out yet. Um, you can get this game on Steam. I think it cost me 10 bucks, maybe. Um, I have played this a little bit, just so I could get the hang of it. But I am going to walk you through uh, as much stuff as possible. Uh, it does get pretty intense so to speak, as far as remembering to make sure that all of your towns are doing things. But uh, anyway, let's get going and stop me running my mouth and wasting time. So we're going to do single player uh, Imperial Campaign. I want to do medium difficulty because uh, I just don't want to die continuously. And I'm going to do no battle time limit and we're just going to become the supreme ruler of Rome and control at least 50 provinces. So, uh, I played on this one before. I started doing these recordings and I really like the Brutii family. I, I think they have the best opportunity um, to, to conquer, I believe this is Greece in this area here. Uh, I don't know. I know Spain, Portugal, France, Italy, and I don't know, <laughs> it doesn't matter, but this is, you know, forever ago, so, um, let's get going. Alright, so, this is a message from the Senate, they assigned this mission, and they want you to take the settlement of Apollonia, probably said it wrong, this is it here. Um, and what they want you to do is use your ships, which I'm just going to go ahead and... I did not want to set that. Move. There we go. So you left-click the ship, and then you right-click where you want it to go. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since I played this, so... Let's see, the Senate asks you to take the settlement of the glory, so what we got to do is we want to take, let's see, this is an army, and this is uh, it's the general that's in charge of it. Uh, if you look at Tarn Tarentum, <laughs> this is the general in there. It's a good idea to keep a general in every town. But since we're looking at this city anyway, what I really want to do is um, start construction on, let's see, more horse guys. And then I want to go down here to Croton and start construction on, or training. Recruitment, not construction, ruin to rec recruitment on a couple of these um, town watchmen. Uh, they they do pretty decent in the battles, but it's a good idea to have a number of them in the town anyway. Um, but I don't know if you notice down here, you start out with uh, 5,000 denarii, and every time you build something, of course, it costs money. Um, what we want to do first in these towns is create the Shrine of Juno. Um, here we can increase the tax rate just a little bit. As long as you have this public order above 100%, you're pretty good. Um, and you want to make sure you're making money. So we can increase the tax rate here. And we'll go ahead and build a Shrine of Juno here as well. Um, 
and that's really going to be it for this turn and so if we move around a little bit you can see you got all this land over here that's unexplored and everything up here um, these are some I guess neighboring people um, part of Rome and these guys were one of the options that you could play uh, just as well as uh, these guys here inside the blue which would have been just this town and that town uh, and so you have the option here you can come down here and attack uh, Syracuse because it's a Greek city um, I mean uh, yeah it's Greek city yeah um, so anyway we're gonna do the uh, Oh, here's another army too as well. So you have two generals, but uh, what I want to do is grab this guy and combine him with this army. Now if you right click, you'll see him move, but if you left click after you s give a command, they move really fast. So we're going to keep these guys here for right now, and um, we're going to leave one of the generals in this city, which will help with... Um, which will help with uh, um, the uh, <laughs> keeping these guys in check. So anyway, let's, let's skip a turn and show you all around the map what every other little civilization is doing and then and then you get these reports. Uh, so you have the diplomatic information which just means that these factions are now at war. really doesn't bother me and then it tells you that your recruitment for those places was done the shrine of Juno is done in both the cities and then um, let's see income and then we had costs where we did recruitment and construction uh, so we made some of our money back but we didn't make a whole bunch uh, and you can see here on every town it tells you how much income you have 63 and 397 um, so what I want to do is check to make sure we're still doing some recruitment here um, I'm going to recruit some more horses and so we'll just let that town watchman guy go. And then I want to recruit state. Oh, that's a lot of money. All right, let's not get too greedy because this is a this isn't a huge army. But once I move some of these horses up here, it'll be a big army. I'm gonna go ahead and do some dogs too. Alright, that's enough spending. Alright, so we're just going to continue the turn because I have 10 turns until I have to get that village. Uh, one thing is, is you can click here and open the faction summary and you can come over here to the Senate and you can see the missions they've given you. Um, and it tells you how many turns you have left to do that mission. That's, that's actually a great thing. Um, so we'll end this turn and then I'll show you something else where you can actually get some help. Let's see what we got here. These two people have declared war against each other. House of Julii and the Greek cities. Recruitment's done. End of turn. See, so we spent money. But, um, let's see, we're not recruiting anybody here at the moment. So you need to construct, like, um, barracks in order to be able to, uh, build bigger, uh, better soldiers or recruit better soldiers. Um, 
I'm going to do a trader right now. And. And I, I, I want to do the barracks, but I don't want to spend all my money. Okay, so. Right now, what I want to do is move these guys. And you can select them by holding, selecting one, the first one, and then holding down the shift key and going to the end, and you get all of them. Or you can individually select the ones you want to take. And right now, I just want to get these guys and, and move them. Uh, I think I want to move them here. So you right click. And so you only get so many turns per move. Um, Constructing, you only get—I mean—so many moves per turn. Uh, constructing paved roads between the different cities helps make them uh, or helps them move faster. So that's probably one thing that we're going to be doing down the road. Um, but let's go ahead and go a couple more turns. So I'm going to grab these guys, make them join in there. So now I get a pretty good sized army. And I'll get the horses in there that are here. And then... Uh, we're going to wait on the dogs to get done. Do the trader because that's fine. Trader going down here, and yeah, not that yet. I want to wait till I got some good money. So, when you do the uh, ah, see these, these guys are like Greek Navy, and then you have more Greek Navy. And there's a lot of pirates too, so once I start actually getting ships out on the water, there will be pirates that you have to try and avoid or either kill them. Um, that's why you got to have lots of ships. I, I, honestly, if you're going to go on a long trip with your boats, I wouldn't send ships out without fewer than, you know, like 100 and let's see, 80, 20, 120, you know, like fewer than like 150 or 200 almost because you got to be able to like totally overwhelm some of these guys. I hope they aren't planning on doing like a blockade or something because that would really put a damper in my plans. Alright, so let's look at the reports real quick. Alright, dogs are done. Let's move the dogs. Trader is complete. That'll help us make some more money here. Why are they not happy? Why are they not happy? Let's see. Yeah, I got to, uh, I got to get. Oh, there's only 150. Got to get that town captured. How many turns do I have left to do that? Senate, Senate mission. Uh, 
Six turns, okay. Um, these aren't pirates, are they? Great. Okay, we're not waiting on anybody else there. I'm going to go ahead and put these guys in the boat. And then I can move the boat here. And then the army gets out. And then select the boat. Ready to sail. And move it back so it's protected in the harbor. Imperator. And then we want to attack. Engage the enemy. Besieging settlement, sir. And then you do this besieging. It says they can last three turns. Um, sometimes depending upon the size of the city you're able to take take the city without having to do a battle um, but we're just gonna go a couple turns and see where we get try and make some more money Those guys are done. Trader is completed. So losing money because of this right here. What is this Greek Navy? Why are they there? <sighs> no. They're neutral right now. turn Tom Watchman done and a turn report oh making more money breaking even Let's see what the lady says at this time it would be a sound strategy to build paved roads in this settlement they help trade and allow fast movement of armies. Let's go ahead and do that. So she's like a advisor. And as you heard, she gives you these suggestions on what to do. And I think what we're going to do is go ahead and conquer here. And then we're going to call that uh, done for the moment. I have um, don't have a whole lot else to do and I don't want this video to run real long so this land is Roman. okay so when you conquer conquer a city under siege you have the option to occupy so you get 40 denarii you can enslave the 400 people and still get 40 or I can exterminate the entire population and get 280 um, I don't need the money that bad because as you can see I got my reward which was I believe 5,000 denarii but we want to go ahead and occupy the settlement which will put the army suitable husband yeah that's fine Accept the suitable husband because we need another general. See, now we get another uh, another assignment to blockade the port of Thurman, uh, which is here. And is this the rebel navy? And uh, like I was saying before. I want 
you want to have a lot of ships when you go out in case you accidentally do get into a uh, a sea battle a diplomatic information unit recruitment complete Senate Blanc Thurman mission successful yeah 5,000 denarii so that's good end of turn report Alright guys, it's uh, faster than yours, and I know this is the end of the episode, but uh, I hated to do it. I had to edit that video short. It, I ended up talking for 38 minutes or something like that. So what I'm going to do is break this first one up into two parts so that I have two separate videos so you're not listening to me run my mouth for 40 minutes almost. Um, but I'll have the link up, and you can go right to that other video. Thanks for watching again.